Hey painters, this is another video tutorial for the painting kits. And honestly, this is the second tutorial I've done for Follow Your Dreams because I did the tutorial only to realize that only five minutes of it got captured because my phone went dead. So I am doing this all over again. Um, again, it's Follow Your Dreams. I'm Julie Norcus coming to you with the tutorial that coincides with the painting kits that I sell on my website, www.julienorcus.com. Uh, I try to make the tutorials easy to follow along, not too lengthy because this is really just a gauge to um, show you some just basic techniques or have your kids follow along while they're painting, you know, what to do first, what to do second, or at least um, some little tips and tricks. Um, let's start with, let's start with adding, putting down the color because we, um, will need that to dry. In these kits, I include the canvas, which has the, um, image that you're going to be painting traced on. So you get the canvas with the image, you have a paintbrush, you get all the colors that you need. If glitter's involved, you get a bit of glitter as well. And then uh, the only thing that I note when you buy these is that you'll have to provide your own paint pen. If you don't have paint pens, uh, then you could also use a Sharpie. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, I'm gonna dive in here and um, actually do this silhouette. You're gonna wanna have some um, paint. Uh, sorry, you're gonna, have some, gonna wanna have some water in a cup. I provide you with a plastic cup for your water um, and you'll want to have a little blotting napkin which I also provide you with a napkin for that. Uh, got a little too much paint on there. I'm, I'm laying down this black quickly here just because I, I probably want to be putting two coats on this. This is the silhouette of the little girl's Head. If you have a boy painting this, then just don't paint the ponytail. Or paint the ponytail if your boy has a has long hair. So you're you're really just following around the lines. I watered this paint down a little bit. I think it's easier to manipulate when it's more the consistency of ink, at least on this silhouette. Uh, but you can see I did it. I did it real fast um, and with thin paint because we're going to go back over it. Um, try to maybe make that a little more even with your brush, so you can see that it's uh, it's watered down. But I did try to kind of try to even out the paint a little bit. So we'll wait, we'll wait for that to dry. Let's move on to the colors. Um, I'm going to start with the with the blue. I don't want my paint watered down really on this blue too much. Um, some paints have a thicker content to them than others. Depends on the brand. And whether you want it watered down depends on your taste. Um, you can see in the sample that I've got it pretty dark. And I, I achieved that by doing two or three coats, honestly. You can see this is one coat. I'm going to leave it at that because I want it to dry quickly. And I'm going to move on to the purple. And I'm also going to jump up here and make sure that this video is taking because I would be very sad if this was another bust. Uh, and this video did not work again because I don't need any more follow your dreams completed artwork than the three that I'm now going to have. All right, and then move on to your next color. I'm 
I don't mind that the colors kind of bleed together as you get down to this area here because that's what a rainbow does. If you get a little blue into your purple, just go back over it and kind of blend it together. You can see some of the blue kind of went in there, but to me that's not a big deal. Mainly because that's how our rainbow is, but secondly, for this project, we're going to be putting glitter over it. Um, also, to keep your water a little cleaner, I, I wipe off the extra paint before rinsing off my brush on the paper towel because I just think that it, uh, it keeps the water a little bit cleaner a little bit longer. And that is, that is my technique for trying to eliminate changing my water all the time. And I always keep two, two things of water here. Um, one that I try to keep a little cleaner than the other one for as long as possible. All right, moving on to the green again. I've got it watered down a little bit. You can leave it watered down with one coat if you like that look. Or you can go back over it with a second or a third coat if you wish. Uh, also, I'm kind of moving along a little quick here, like I do on all the tutorials, mainly so that you're not tied to this video for too long, getting bored and wanting to just paint your own. Uh, but it can get a little redundant just painting some of the stuff here when you want to just charge it and do your thing. All right, yellow. The lines that are on the canvas that I provide for you are not erasable for the most part. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're doing thinner coats and that pencil line, that transfer paper line shows through because it's transfer paper, not, uh, not a pencil. I think you can lighten it a little bit with a pencil, uh, but it does not completely erase. And that is purposefully that way so that when you're painting over it, the line doesn't just disappear and you don't know where you're painting. All right. You can see my colors are much lighter and more um, watered down than the sample. And honestly, I think for this particular video, I'm going to keep them that way so that the video does not get too long and they will dry and we can move on to the next part of the painting. And again, since I'm adding, adding glitter to this project, um, Maybe having the paint a little watered down won't, won't be as big of a deal. Okay, if kids are doing this, they're probably not going to be buzzing along quite as quick as I am. Maybe while the first coat is done, if they are going to add another coat to make the, um, to make the colors more uh, thick and, and vibrant. They can go have a snack while they are waiting. If you're painting this with a friend, pour yourself another glass of wine, cup of coffee. If you're alone, well, I guess get out your hair dryer because that is what I am going to be doing here in a moment. My trusty hair dryer. Kids are probably going to be a little more messy depending on the age, but I have had some adults <clears throat> paint this as well, and either they work along with their child or they do it on their own. All right, that gives you the general idea. I'm going to hit it with the hair dryer again. I just got a I've got a cheap little hair dryer here, and it just is an easy way to speed up the process a little bit.
think that's dry enough for now. And we can move on to another little part that will eat up some time while the rest of that's drying. Uh, let's talk about paint pens. I talk about this on every video. Um, they're important to a lot of the uh, tutorials, a lot of the designs that I use because I work a lot with fonts and writing and stuff like that, outlining. Um, I don't include a paint pen in your kit because they're kind of pricey depending on the ones that you use. So here's what I would say. I use these paint pens called Unipasca. I get them at Michaels or Amazon. They're the Shaky Shakies. It stirs up the paint just like a spray paint can. And there's many different thicknesses. Um, I'm gonna use those on this project as I do in all the other painting tutorials, but I'm telling um, everyone that if you don't have a paint pen, Sharpies are another option. Um, fine point, medium point, um, there are also some store brands that Michaels and Hobby Lobby have as well that you could probably find for a buck or two. Um, the problem right now is with stores being closed, they're not as easily accessible. So um, maybe Amazon, just make sure they're called paint pens and that they are the shaky kind when you open it up to get it going your tip is going to be white and you have to depress it up and down and the ink will flow into the tip of that marker um, i use these for so many things especially with this type of um, kids art um, easy peasy kind of casual art because it's so much easier than trying to paint with a paintbrush font outlining stuff like that. So once again, I am following around the letters that were provided on this board when you got it. Uh, and then we'll go back and I'll show you how to make them look more custom, more special, because that is key. So this is super easy. Follow around the design, all right? They do stay a little damp for, I don't know, 60 seconds or so. So take the hair dryer or just give it some time and take a break. I would also say try to follow clo as close as you can to those um, transfer lines that came on the canvas because like I said a, a bit ago you you're not going to be able to completely erase those so if your paint pen doesn't cover that um, you're going to see a little bit of the of the what I would say looks like a pencil line so here's what we are going to do to make these letters be a little more custom wherever you have a downstroke Make sure I'm not seeing. Wherever you have a downstroke, thicken the line down. So think about how you make a letter. You don't go down when you make the L going that way, so you're not going to thicken that up. But when you make an O, you go down, and then you go back up. So wherever you naturally make your letters, you're going to want to go down and thicken that side. Okay. Super easy. Just think ahead before you make the line. Got it? All right, so that's the, the printed letters. I'm gonna knock this water off here. Uh, cursive, same thing. Think about making a D. You're going down, so you're thickening. You're going down. And down. And you can make them as thicker as thin as you want. I think you need something here. But I don't know how thick your personal taste would be. Depends on what I'm doing. Sometimes it's a little more fun and whimsical. I, I go super thick. Or if maybe there's a dark background and you want it to show up more, then I get out my white paint pen and I do the same thing. Okay, so that gives you an idea of the font. How easy is that? Just take your time. Think about how you 
Think about how you write in your down strokes. All right, let's go back to the silhouette. So I'll get my black paint back out. Uh, you guys get a flat brush with your kits, um, small to medium flat brush. It's bigger than this. I'm just grabbing this because it's, um, it's handy. And I'm trying to um, source a small, thin, round brush to include in the kits. But again, with this COVID thing, I'm having a hard time with some of my uh, suppliers either getting it or getting it shipped or getting it shipped in a timely manner. Uh, but I provide a brush for you that is a good enough size to do what the project entails. But, I don't know about you, I have so many craft brush brushes for my kids laying around. Um, so go and find another brush if you have something that um, you like to use instead. By all means, pull it out. Maybe you've got a better quality one. Okay. So there we go for the silhouette. I think you do need another coat on the silhouette. I did it kind of quick and not as detailed. I'm usually painting flat down sitting, but I'm trying to hold it up to the camera so at least you get an idea. And what I would also do then for this is go back in and clean up your lines. You can see on the original that I even used the black paint pen on this one to separate it and then added the glitter over that. The tutorial I did that never got <clears throat> videoed, I did do a second color, a second coat, and then I added glitter over that, but I didn't separate it with the black line. You can do whatever you want. Um, I'm not sure which I like better. I, I'm thinking I might like it without the black lining, but it's totally up to you. Um, and there again, when you're ready for glitter, the glitter will be included. Um, it'll come in a little cup and then you just brush it on over everything and you should be good to go. So that is follow your dreams painting tutorial and you can access the kits if you haven't already, if you're just watching this video without a kit uh, at www.julienorcus.com. Thanks for watching and let art fuel your life. Thanks so much, guys.